Hello, welcome to another TypeScript video. In this video, we are going to look at asynchronous programming model in TypeScript. Okay, what is asynchronous programming model? Well, before understanding asynchronous programming model, we need to understand what is JavaScript engine and how it works. JavaScript engine is a program that runs the JavaScript code that we write. The engine supports running only one thread at a time. This means it can run only one task at a time. You can run any number of tasks one after the other, but you can't run more than one task at the same time. This is why we say JavaScript is a single threaded programming language. Because it uses just one thread, you might think it is very easy to block the whole program with one long running task. And it is both true and false. Imagine a scenario where you make a call to load the data from the server. And while the data is being loaded, you need to provide the ability to the user to cancel the load by pressing a cancel button. If the engine loads the data using the only thread that is available, then it cannot process the cancel button's click. So if user clicks the cancel button, the UI will freeze. This is not good. Fortunately, this is not how JavaScript engine works. Instead, it uses a mechanism called event loop with asynchronous programming model. Okay, how this event loop works and what is this asynchronous programming model? Let's break this down and first understand how event loop works. Here is the super simplified version of how event loop works. There is a queue for JavaScript engine to use. This queue is called task or callback queue. Any task that need to be run by the JavaScript engine is added to this queue. The engine takes the first item from the queue and runs it. Once the running task is finished, it takes the next task from the queue and runs it. It repeats this process until all the tasks in the queue are run. Here, each run is referred to as tick. So, if you want JavaScript engine to run some code, for example, a function that adds two number when a button is clicked, you need to insert the function into the queue so JavaScript engine will run it when it gets to it. Usually, the browser or the platform takes care of adding these tasks to the queue. If you want to do this yourself, you can use the APIs provided by the browser or the platform. Okay, now let's take a look at what is asynchronous programming model and how it works. Asynchronous programming model is a general concept in which a thread delegates long running or IO operation to another thread and provides a task that need to be run when the result is available. There are many ways to achieve this programming model. There are three models that are very common. The first one is callback functions. Node.js uses this heavily. Promise is another way to achieve this. Third and the most popular option in the recent times is observable provided by RxJS. Okay, now we have basic understanding of how event loop and asynchronous programming model works. With this knowledge, let's see how browser or the platform processes cancel button click while the data is being loaded. First of all, the task of loading data from the server is not run by the JavaScript engine directly. The engine delegates this task to the browser or the platform using web or platform APIs. The platform or the browser runs this task in a separate thread that is outside the JavaScript engine using asynchronous programming model. And the task that need to be run when the result is available is simply added to the task queue by the platform or the browser when the result is available. The JavaScript engine's event loop, as usual, picks the first task from the queue and runs it. So when user clicks cancel button, the task that need to be run is added to the queue and it is picked up by the engine and does whatever it needs to do to cancel the data load from the server. Does this mean we won't have frozen screen ever? No, we'll still end up with frozen UI if we don't delegate the long running task to the platform or the browser in order to run them in a separate thread outside the JavaScript engine. So as a developer, you should generally avoid running long running tasks directly in JavaScript engine's single tick. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.